I am thrilled to be back in the great state of Ohio, right here, with the incredible men and women of Youngstown. What an amazing few days it's been. On Saturday, I was in Virginia with thousands of brave men and women of the United States military. Do we love the United States military? We commissioned the newest, largest, and most advanced aircraft carrier in the history of our nation, the USS Gerald R. Ford, into the great American fleet. Then yesterday, I was in West Virginia with almost 50,000 of our most impressive young Americans. They are young men who learn to cherish words like duty, honor, God, and country, the Boy Scouts. Then only a few hours ago, the Senate approved a vote to begin debating the repealing and replacing the Obamacare disaster. Finally, you think that's easy? That's not easy. We're now one step closer to liberating our citizens from this Obamacare nightmare. And delivering great health care for the American people. We're going to do that, too. And now tonight, I'm back in the center of the American heartland, far away from the Washington swamp to spend time with thousands of true American patriots. We have spent the entire week celebrating with the hard-working men and women who are helping us make America great again. This has been a difficult week for the media because I forced them to travel with us all around the country and spend time with tens of thousands of proud Americans who believe in defending our values, our culture, our borders, our civilization, and our great American way of life. Everyone in this arena is united by their love, and you know that. Do we know that? Everyone. United by their love for this country, and their loyalty to one another, their loyalty to its people. And we want people to come into our country who can love us and cherish us and be proud of America and the American flag. We believe that schools should teach our children to have pride in our history and respect for that great American flag. We all believe in the rule of law, and we support the incredible men and women of law enforcement. Thank you. Thank you for being here.
We celebrate our military and believe the American Armed Forces are the greatest force for peace and justice in the history of the world. And by the way, they're getting a lot greater, fast, a lot greater. You saw our budget. We're ordering billions and billions of dollars of new ships and new planes and equipment for our great soldiers. We are building it up. There's rarely been a time where we needed the protection of our incredible military more than right now, right here. And that's what we're going to do. We believe in freedom, self-government, and individual rights. We cherish and defend, thank you, it looks like it's in very good shape, our Second Amendment. Congratulations. Yes, our Second Amendment is very, very sound again. That would have been gonzo. It would have been gone. But I never had a doubt. We support the Constitution of the United States and believe that judges should interpret the Constitution as written and not make up new meaning for what they read. And finally, we believe that family and faith, not government and bureaucracy, are the foundation of our society. You've heard me say it before on the campaign trail, and I'll say it again tonight. In America, we don't worship government. We worship God. Tonight we're going to set aside the cynics and the critics because we know exactly why they are so angry and so bitter. Day by day, week by week, we are restoring our government's allegiance to its people, to its citizens, to the people that we all love. We are keeping our promises to the people. And yes, we are putting finally, 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 we are putting America first. It's time to look past the old divisions. The tired, really tired politicians and the stale debates of the past and to finally come together as one nation under God. We have no choice. We cannot and never will back down. We will never, ever give up. We cannot fail. And if we remember what unites us, then I promise you, we will not fail. We can not fail. We will make America strong again. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And we will make America great again. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the state of Ohio. Thank you, everybody.